Hello, Johnny London here once again and today I've definitely got something a little bit different for you. I've been waiting outside the boatyard for a couple of weeks now uh, for the crane to be fixed and for the driver to be fixed as well. Uh, both of those are up and running now I'm pleased to report and in the distance there I can see him busily craning boats in and out. Well I'm on his to-do list today so I'm expecting a phone call. Uh, I've read the boat as best as I can Obviously I'm not taking my aerial down yet though, have I? But I should be able to do that last minute. I'll get his call and uh, then hopefully he'll tell me where to present myself with the boat and uh, we'll take it from there. Should be interesting. And there is the crane, currently busy with another boat. Well, considering I've been waiting two weeks, I'm surprisingly unready. I've uh, just taken the aerial and the chimney down and obviously just got to untie now and the crane driver's spoken to me from across the waters there and he says just drive it into the uh, strops. So that's what I'm going to do. The strops are a big enough target. It's as easy as that. There's a little bit of drizzle in the air now, obviously, any time I do anything. But uh, as soon as he got the strops in the place, up the boat went. There you go. As you can see, they use the boat's own ropes to guide it through this manoeuvre. I have to say, this is a very strange, uh, somewhat emotional experience actually. I've been living on that boat for five and a half years and just see it plucked out of the water, it's swinging about quite a bit. I'm glad I put my wine glasses away this morning. nearly there now and what with the crane and the use of the ropes it can be guided quite accurately. So uh, there it is. I don't know where they're going to put me. Uh, I don't know if it's going there. I don't know anything really. I just wait to find out. Indeed, this is where it will be sighted for my stay. As you can see, there are boats in all different states of repair and fit out here. Well, I think that's where I'm going to end up. It doesn't look like it's sitting on anything, uh, but I'm sure it is. And uh, they switched the crane engine off, so uh, just wait to be told what to do next, really. Well, there is no next and I'm free to inspect the boat. They can't supply access ladders, but I find this one in amongst the rubble.
that was all right actually. I've um, managed to find a ladder just sort of lying around on the floor, uh, which I pressed into service there. Uh, so I can get on and off obviously uh, but they don't supply them as such so I was lucky to spot that um, and they're going to leave the strops around it um, in case I'm the first one out next week um, I, I might be done in a week but probably it's going to take a couple of weeks but I'm going to have a little poke around now and just sort of uh, have a look and see what I've got ahead of me I can't tell you just how bizarre this is. It's um, it's raining, <laughs> but what I was going to say was it's eerily tranquil as well. All that sort of 20 tons of steel just uh, hauled out of the water and uh, placed on a couple of old railway sleepers. It's um, it looks all right actually. I think by the time I get it pressure washed, uh, I don't think it's going to be too bad at all. A preliminary scrape shows me that the original two-pack blacking is pretty much all still there. Under all the crud. Anodes are not bad either. Well, I'm having a bit of a resupply while I'm here. Getting my coal and my gas and uh, some diesel will have to be in the jerry can because uh, I'm not by the pump. Uh, so next thing is to get my gas up to the boat somehow. I'm putting 20 litres of diesel into the boat's tank from one of my jerry cans. This is not easy, it's very heavy. It takes a good few minutes. <sighs> well, my arms are getting very tired. But fortunately, the can's getting a bit lighter. I press on. Thankfully, that's it. These are rubbish. I don't like these filler caps. Mine is situated flat, so it has to be carefully dried off before removal to avoid letting any rainwater into the tank. The rubber seal is pretty useless too. There's a special key to do it up with, but you can use a stick. I thought they'd have like a, a diesel trolley with a hose and a pump that they bring round to service the boats but haven't so just have to do this. <sighs> K 
can refilled now to get it back on board. Well, we're starting to lose the light now, uh, which is okay actually, because I've uh, just about done everything I needed to do for today. The day's been taken up just with uh, obviously craning the boat in, uh, finding my bearings and doing a few little tasks that I needed to do. Um, I'm just filling the water now. I've got a tap quite handy, so that's a good thing. Uh, I had to get some diesel, but unfortunately they haven't got one of those uh, sort of trolleys and pump container things that comes round. Uh, which is surprising actually, considering the number of boats here. Uh, so I had to lug that around with my jerry can. Also got a gas. Had use of the bins once I managed to uh, get them unlocked, so that was good. And... Um, what else? Uh, uh, well, the only thing is, um, they promised me electric hookup, you know, which I was looking forward to because obviously my batteries are knackered and I'm going to need to use the angle grinder a bit. Um, but the nearest electric points are, well, a very, very long way away indeed, and they're in use anyway. So they basically told me to get knotted really so I'm not going to get any electric so I'll just have to run the engine which is a shame I would have thought they'd have probably just had uh, you know sort of a post uh, by each sort of boat uh, like you do in marinas but it's not quite that well organized here it's uh, it's a bit sort of rough and ready but hopefully I'll uh, go in in a bit and get all my stuff ordered that I need and uh, then tomorrow the boat's being pressure washed and then I can give it a clean up and we can really start to get on with things I make my weary way back inside to put a brew on. Enough fun for one day.